Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. Microsoft has recently announced that if you have an outdated version of the uh, Microsoft.NET framework installed on your system, uh, then those outdated um, versions and older versions of the .NET framework will be reaching their end of support um, this month in April of 2022. Now, this applies to .NET framework versions 4.5.2, 4.6, and 4.6.1 which will be reaching end of support on the 26th of april this year 2022 so today in my region of the world we are already on the 7th of april so that means give or take you've got 19 or 20 days um, if you are running an outdated version of dotnet framework to make sure that you update it as after the 26th of april you will no longer be getting any technical support or security fixes and updates um, from Microsoft as that means those um, those versions of the .NET framework will be out of date and will have reached their end of life. Now, if you are running a supported version of Windows 10, so that would be 20H2, 21H1 and 21H2, you have nothing to worry about as um, the uh, .NET framework 4.8 is already installed and updated, give or take every month or so. Um, on those versions, supported versions of Windows 10. So if you head to Windows Update and you'll go to your View Update History, yeah, you'll see, uh, for example, cumulative update for .NET Framework 3.5 and 4.8 uh, for Windows 10 version 21H2. And this, um, these are updated, um, give or take, every month or so. And if you also go to other updates, you'll find a lot more of those entries where you will check that on, you know, as I mentioned, every month or so, those are updated automatically on the supported versions of Windows 10. Now, for whatever reason, if you your device is not updated automatically, um, you might have to update the .NET framework manually um, if it is an outdated version. And that means you would have to go to the Microsoft web, web page and website and do a search for .NET framework. And that means you'd have to download and install .NET. Uh, .NET Framework 4.6.2 and newer or newer before the 26th of April. Now, just a heads up here is that uh, the Windows 10 version 1903 and newer had uh, the .NET Framework 4.8 included by default in those versions 1903 and newer. So this really is only applying to mainly Windows 10 versions that rolled out before Windows 10 version 1903. So those are quite old and very outdated versions of Windows 10. And if you are still using one of those, you really should move on to a newer version as those are the actual operating systems are out of support already. But if for whatever reason you are running one of those versions or just in general, you would like to see what um, uh, version of the .NET framework you are running, we have to go to the registry to be able to see um, exactly what version of the framework you are running. So to do this in Windows 10, we just head to the search and you just do a search for registry and that will um, open the registry editor once you hit enter and you go to H key local machine and then you navigate to software and in the software uh, uh, drop down menu, you look for Microsoft and then you expand that menu and in the Microsoft a key you just look for um, the net framework so we just got to scroll down here a little bit and yeah you will see net framework setup and we expand that and then you expand NDP and then you just expand again uh, v4 that will be version 4 and you just expand client and yeah you just um, click on the 1033 and in the right hand pane yeah you will see the version so I'm running 4.8.04084. So I have no reason to worry about end of support as I'm running an updated version of version 4.8. So there's nothing to worry about. So if you are running uh, any version uh, below 4.6.2, if you check here and you've run in any version below 4.6.2, that means that your end of support will be reached on the 26th of April and then you would have to update to a newer version. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.